I kept promising myself after I published one book of nonfiction slash memoir, I was never going to go there again. I did it again four years later. <laughs> so I'm a hypocrite, but I, 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 I'm very conscious of the fact that, that, that I'm not telling stories for myself. I'm, I want to connect and communicate with a reader. That's my goal. I think it's, if people think it's me because I'm using a first person voice and, and it sounds natural, great. I'll, I'll take it. Um, and, and that's, again, we're talking about fiction there. And when, I'm, when, I'm, when it's nonfiction, you know, it is a version of me. And when a book is done, I kind of mourn the characters. And then I realized, oh, well, wait, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to leave them forever. I mean, I, I, I killed Walt Kaplan early on in, in the first, my first book, he died. And I resurrected him and killed him a few more times in, in later books. So the longevity of doing this for a while now is that is that the I, I love to return to characters. I, I always realize, well, if I'm stuck, I can go back and check in on my people. You know, they're they're out there um, waiting for me to pay attention to them. What has always drawn me to, to 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 literature in general, to try and write it, and certainly to spend my life engaging with it, reading it, talking about it, thinking about it is that this idea of having a converse, a silent conversation, it's, it's completely private, you know, and people like me and other people will sometimes write about what they read and others of us will have book clubs and we'll talk about stuff. But as a general matter, this is something we just keep to ourselves, questioning that, 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 a, that a book will often force us to do, you know, a rec it will force us to have some kind of reckoning um, with ourselves. I think the impact, the impact that what we read has on what we do is like immeasurable, you know? I've been to quite a few festivals and I've always felt like Newburyport was really about kind of establishing an actual connection between reader and, 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 and writer. And I've always just really loved that. I love going to all the other events. I love the events at the firehouse. Um, uh, you know, a lot of the festival happens on the streets, you know, um, not just in the venues, but just going from place to place and talking to people on the way and in the coffee shops and on the sidewalks. So, you know, I, I do sometimes fly under the radar and I realize that I, I feel lucky that I'm still in this. And, and, and it's because, again, because of, uh, organizations like Newburyport Festival um, that I'm still doing it. So I, I can't tell you how appreciative I am. So. Mm -hmm.